Yo, what's up gamers? Uh, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't really know what happened to my microphone this episode. It literally exploded. <laughs> so just do me a favor while watching this episode. Go ahead and immerse yourself. Think of yourself as watching some like 2012 old ass Northern Lion episode. You'll enjoy it way more. All right, I appreciate it. Enjoy. Bye-bye. What is up gamers here with the host character. They've done turned the most annoying enemy in Isaac, uh, other than Gideon and Stone Grimaces, into a character. So what can this character do? They start with triple shot, just like the host, and they start with themselves. <laughs> An active item, I don't know if it's actually called anything, but when we use it, oh, I can check right here. It's called retract. Once we use it, we uh, go and we literally retract back down for a couple seconds. During this, we are completely invulnerable, and it ticks back up during room. So, you know, we could just do it in a room, and we'll go back up, and it will start ticking. So we can use it offensively but also defensively as well as utility. The workshop page mentions a lot of different things such as, you know, you can use it to enter curse rooms for free or something. Ludo. <laughs> I, uh, do I want Ludo? I, you know what? This might be funny. We can maybe like surpass the spike block if we do it correctly, or maybe I'll just look like an idiot. So never mind. Maybe I need more speed to make that happen. Running Ludo host hat is going to be a little weird. I've gone and upgraded myself to a psychic host. Those guys got blasted so far. <laughs> I have no idea why that happened, but that was awesome. And we're just gonna run around with the host. I checked on the mod workshop page. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna click on the button that says player characters and scroll for a bit. And this caught my eye. So here we freaking are. More bombs, a lot of stuff to work with. I'm thinking we could probably lock in this uh, tinted rock. Am I blind? There's no tinted rock here. I'll go for the golden chest. I think that was a tinted rock. I must be crazy. Hello? Reverse card. This will be good for us. I'll use it right now. Why not? Health up. Noise. That does confirm for us as well that this character can get red hearts. That is good to know. Always a little unsure when we try a new character what their limits are when it comes to HP. Ah, it was this. This is what I got confused by. Uh, we'll take this tinted rock. Get a small rock. A little unfortunate because my speed is literally gone, but I think it's thematic for the character considering host can't walk whatsoever. I'll take the damage and we can move on. This is great. So who's our first boss of the day? We are rewarded with Baby Plum. Baby Plum should be easy. Baby Plum can actually hit me sometimes with that blub, 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 attack. This one right here. If I get caught in a bad scenario, I could press spacebar and be like, you know what? You can't hurt me whatsoever. And Ludo is actually a good synergy here. And it stays in the open despite me being invulnerable. So unlike how the character usually is where you're hunkered down and you can't do anything, our DPS will continue to grow. Okay, baby. Basement 2 now. Looking for some juicy stuff. Our damage is actually really good. Ludo coming in clutch. I know the workshop page said that we can get curse rooms for free, so I want to try this. I messed up that spike thing earlier, so let's see. Boom. Oh, I bet it becomes a lot easier with more speed. Uh, we didn't get too much out of it, but I did feel really cool. There we are. Our treasure room for the second floor is here, and my goodness, splitting shots, compound fracture. It's like Cricket's body's like ugly friend, but he's still really cool, so you don't mind. We got floating bone man tears, and weirdly enough, considering I am a skull character, I could not be happier with the situation from me at hand. Wow, it splits really well. This is a six energy, actually. What the hell? <laughs> this is awesome. I didn't expect to come across something so unique, but uh, I've never really had anything like this. I'm, I'm down with it. Appreciate it. Gemini fight. Let's see how much damage we're really doing, and it is significant. This boss holds no candle to the power that is the host. Goodbye, game. We get a coin purse. I don't know how I feel about that nor the devil room. If I get a telepills, I'm just, whatever, I'm just rolling with it. More health up. Are you a wizard again? Let's look for the secret rooms. I'm going angels though. Super secret in here. Oh, hello. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know how, I, I don't think I want to mess with you at all, actually. My bones are a little too valuable. I'd rather spend one on the tinted rock and get it guaranteed, not soul hearts. Never mind. Let's go find the secret room. What was over here? Just a nickel, but a nickel is huge. That means that I can get to the shop with my net negative keys. So, uh, that's not gonna happen. So little keys, in fact, that I literally can't go down for. So, regular floors we go. I'm cool with the regular floors, though. Flooded Caves XL is the best news I've ever received. This mod is apparently pretty old from when I saw the, the post thing, like 2017 or something. So, I feel like it wouldn't be... Uh, oh my god, guppy eye. I feel like it wouldn't be as appropriate to go to alternate floors repentance style. This is definitely more my vibe. And the guppy eye is huge. 
huge. I, I almost wish that I went to Devils at this point, but you know, how could I have ever known? I, Guppy's Eye in general is just a good item, so we're gonna roll with it and then check this curse room for free. Please, can you slide a little bit further, sir? <laughs> that was a highly embarrassing. Try one more time. It's kind of a weird skill to get used to. He doesn't slide as far as I really want him to, and I think that does come down to skill issue. I'm just gonna have to get good at that ability, I think. We got first treasure room in here. I'm thinking it's probably something good. I don't know how Ludo Matt's Kidney Stone works. I have to imagine it doesn't. In fact, I have to imagine this is really bad, but I'm gonna take it and I, uh, it's not working whatsoever. You can always tell if Matt's Kidney Stone is gonna work with your synergy because the first time you pick it up, it actually procs immediately. Like, first things first, you get to have Matt's Kidney Stone. So if you pick it up and nothing happens, you know nothing is going to happen. We've blown up beggars, we've blown up keepers. I know we still have a treasure room and a shop left, but with my increased angel chance, I just want to lock this in and see what we can get. Bumbo! You know, Bumbino is probably the type of character or boss that I would specifically try and do this to. <laughs> because I swear to God, Bumbino actually hits me more than most bosses in the game. I, it didn't really work out for me. In fact, I took more damage trying to use it than if I had probably just dodged. But you're never really gonna learn how to use an ability if you don't commit. So let's keep going. Hey, look, I can block this. Oh yeah, that's epic. <laughs> Say goodbye to Big Horn. No problemo and no angel. Interesting. That means a guaranteed angel next floor. Assuming I don't take red heart damage, which I should not. All of these trinkets are whatever. I guess I'll take the silver dollar. Super secret. Just red hearts. More coinage and keys here. We're still looking for our last treasure room. That I can see forever pill really paid off because it's really hard to find some kind of secret and super secret on XL floor, so I appreciate it. And now let's finally lock this in. Onk, I, I, I don't even want to take. I'll take it because, you know, more items and sprites on the right side of my screen fills me with happiness, but I, I don't think we're going to be using this thing. Ain't no one going to remember you. I could go through the entire run, and I promise you it would have been the exact same as if I had never walked in that treasure room in the first place. Oh, wow, that was a huge pill. We got super Super Envy here, immediately dying to every bone possible. Super Envy can spawn, what is it, I think Forever Alone? I'd appreciate it, that's always a fun item to find. Noise. We can take this, I know there was a Humongo pill right here, it was a double health up. Oh my god, Jesus. It's not like I have PhD or anything, it's just really crazy good. Death card, we can take to the next floor, and I think we will just straight up go to the next floor. Interesting to note that they do start with a gulped no trinket as well. I guess the point of that is to make sure that you can't lose or tracked. This was a time before pocket active items existed, so this is the way I, they got around it, I guess. But it's also really cool as a passive. You know, you think about it, when playing this character, you can't get useless active items. That also means you can't get really good active items, you know, I'm not gonna be able to find a D6 or an R key or a death certificate anytime today. But anytime I enter a treasure room and it's like a polyphemus or something, who knows? Maybe if I was playing a different character, it was uh, actually remote detonator, but it just uh, it doesn't exist anymore. The C got destroyed by me being this character. That was really satisfying to me. Something about the bone Ludo play, it works wonders for my mind. It's just like, you're dead. <laughs> it's actually really sick. I, uh, this is a big room. I was gonna use the death card in here, but no enemies have appeared. No enemies are actually anywhere on this run. They do not exist. That was a really clean bomb. I'm gonna give all of my hearts to you. All being six. Okay, sorry, seven. There you go, there's the payout. And we get growth, nice! I mend a bit of my speed that we lost out on. Just tactically use the host, there you go. Block the bullet, like the gamer you are, and we're rewarded with Steam Sale. Big fan of this item, even if it is this late. Also big fan of Steam Sales in general. Great way to save money and buy things that you will never ever play in your life. Oh, okay, here's a, a little bit of a, a question for me. Can you slide into the spike chest and open it? Oh yes, yeah, strategic gaming. We are learning as we go along, that was actually kind of cool. Where the hell did you come from? <laughs> that is not how Pin works usually. If he comes at you, he's gonna come at you from the same place he came at you initially. He did a 180 on me. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Final objective of the floor is you, Lingabean. I am waiting for you to get buffed so I can stop being disappointed whenever I see you. Depths 1, or I guess Necropolis 1. First boss fight is Mask of Infamy. This guy gets countered heavily by Ludo. All this Ludo needs to do is be on top of Mask. There's no strategy here. You just die. We get Gaffian Pill. Now, finally, more
forward, then base speed. Not taking that yet. It might be telepills. And we get seven seals, which I'll just take. I'll be happy with. I don't even want to blow up the angel. I'll take this. We get a luck down. Very disappointing. And we move forward. Oh, you know what? I realized I cleared out a little bit of the floor already, but... Well, I can go to the curse rooms for free. It's weird reminding myself of that. Let me just check this really quickly. Kane's other eye. How does this work with Ludo? You get a tiny Ludo? That's adorable. I didn't know that. <laughs> does it work properly? Not really at all. <laughs> okay, I think what's happening here is that Ludo Kane's other eye might be the worst synergy I've ever seen. Also, why is it purple? What's going on here? Because every time you shoot Kane's other eye, you know how you shoot in a random direction? I think when I'm shooting or directing my Ludo, it's just placing it and putting it in random directions. Why is it purple indicating that it's also some form of homing? That, I, I don't know whatsoever. Maybe it is homing. Maybe that's how they fix the synergy. Is this like some kind of hot patch I wasn't aware of? Let's go find out. Let's uh, get this Kane's other eye to shoot and see. Is it, is it homing? It is homing. But I don't have homing. Is this really the case? Wait, what? Is this some secret hidden synergy? <laughs> Wait, Wait, what? This is awesome. You're telling me if you get Ludo and Kane's of the Eye, the Kane's of the Eye has natural homing? No way. What? I'm, I must have missed something. Oh, it's Spoonbender. There you go. Baby Spoonbender. I was about to say, that's crazy. <laughs> that wouldn't be bad either. Like, I think that's a cool change. It's just, I knew that isn't how the game works. So I was trying to figure it out. We get a shop. We get jump by cables and card reading. Both of these are awesome. And I got so much money. I'm just going to donate it. Increase my angel chance, maybe. And maybe finally get past literally like double digits. There you go. Very good dono. Oh, it's it's actually me. <laughs> I need uh, oh wait hold on I need flight. Where, where, where is well goddamn? Where's the hangman card? I'll do anything for it. You don't understand. That's gonna suck if I can't get it. In fact, it's literally only a, like a damage down with specifically Luna Vigo. So I don't know why I want it so badly, but come on, dude, it's right there. Well, you know, it's looking to me like we will not be landing that lazy worm. So sad. Too bad. It is what it is. Uh, we'll just clear this out. My god, I should have pressed spacebar a little faster there. I could have saved damage. That's fine though. Guess the super secret room, even though I'm sure it isn't there. And there's no way I'm guessing super secret. Have you seen this map? Yeah, definitely not. So let's just go. Let's go. Let's go. I cannot believe how bad in theory Kane's other eye Ludo is, but somehow I got lucky enough to completely negate any form of like bad synergy this would have given me. <laughs> Truly a no punishment moment for real. I love damage. I got health for the dark room. I think we lock it in. What happens if I like space bar into, into the floor? Probably nothing special, but I, I just want to do it for fun. Here? Yeah. Okay, nothing happens. Free secret room? Don't mind if I do. What's in here? Uh, this is a bomb moment. I definitely don't need these bombs whatsoever. Oh, man. I was thinking it might have done a little bit better for me. It's better to have gambled and lost and millions of dollars and your entire life savings than to have never gambled before. So I think for long boss fights, our main priority is getting Kane's other eye onto the enemy. I don't know if I could purposely do that. It's got a mind of its own. But if we can, it's going to be great because after that, it's going to be homing and it's going to stay on the enemy for as long as possible. That's why it's really good for something like, a, I would say, like an It Lives fight or a, a Hush fight. All we got to do is get that initial hit hit in. We do have this shop because of the silver dollar. Have it will blow nicely with retract surprisingly. And we have not blown up a keeper yet and this guy is trying to live but I'm not gonna let it happen. Rip my dono machine. God damn it. Speaking of hush, I think we're definitely on pace here. This seems like a, such a large wound. But despite that, never mind. I thought this was gonna be the boss. It's still the case. Despite that, I think we can definitely hit hush comfortably here. And weirdly enough, I feel like this is the type of run that can melt hush's health bar. Because there's multiple criteria in order to like destroy boss armor. One that I don't mention too often though is splitting shots. Splitting shots does so well against boss armor. And if we can put this homing Kane's other eye on top of Hush, on top of our actual one, they're both splitting like crazy. I, I actually think we're gonna do humongous amounts of damage. I already see the vision. I mean, look at that. You know, the trunk is there. We just need a bit more. That damage up helps most definitely. And the angel room has guardian angel. Maybe conjoined? I got a uh, maybe? Maybe. Probably not. Yeah, who cares? We're just gonna go down. Wow, this was a way easier boss to find than the last floor. I actually hit every mark possible. Yeah, let's just lock it in, dude. I don't want to miss Hush whatsoever. I want to see how much damage it can really do. Like, look at that. We didn't spend any time whatsoever on it lives. But we got lucky with Kane's other eye. It got exactly where we needed it to go. And the damage is just raking in. Beautiful stuff. We get 
get another angel, mega lucky today, and Eucharist is a little bit too late, man. So disappointing, because you never don't want to take this item. It's like giving up goat head or something, but it's just not worth. We take the relic, we go defeat Hush. Okay, starting off, we get Aquarius and Fate's Reward. We don't have too much use for Aquarius. Our tier effects aren't that incredible. Fate's Reward is whatever. Very blue room. Uh, I'll just take the Fate. And in here, wow. These are both way better. In fact, I don't blame someone for taking Lost Fly. I want to take Lost Fly. I will take Lost Fly. I mean, dude, Lost Fly. So overpowered. If there's the proof, we really don't have PhD. We just have God Pills today. What about this? A Hierophant? Yeah, I'll take some Bone Man gameplay. Fill it up a little bit. Uh, take the PhD, because why not? I'm rich as hell. Give me a speed up. And then do I even really want to open any of these? Not particularly. I'll just uh, farm another key off this sack. And then let's try our our best defeat hush as clean as possible if we're ever in a sticky situation we can press space bar to like save ourselves something like this you know like boop oh you can't hit me and i gotta try my best to move kane's other eye in the direction of hush even though it's like completely rng as far as i can tell once he spawns i don't care about this blue baby fight there you go you're done so now i want to keep track of my kane's other eye you can do it buddy just just make your way over <laughs> You got it. You're all, you're going. You're heading into a wall. I need to. There you go. Hold on. He's cooking. He's making moves, guys. He's making moves. I have no power over this, as far as I know. Maybe if I aim right, he'll go more right. Definitely not the case. I. Maybe this is a lost cause. <laughs> Now, no, see, now you're in a corner. Now you're, you've actually gone and gotten way worse. I could have killed Hush 10 times over by now. I, you know what? If he shows up, he shows up. I'm putting the Ludo on you. Goodbye. But look what I'm saying, man. I barely hit Hush whatsoever. And the damage is still really good. We're, we're melting through. And just imagine if I had twice as much. I could see the vision. I just, I don't see it coming true with you on my team. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe he's gonna home in on the Hush flies. This, this is the way. Okay, I see it. I actually see the vision. We get him to spawn those Hush dudes. Like, these flies and then it's gonna home in i just gotta get the hush flies to come down there there you go now it's moving we've made progress come this way come this way is it coming kind of wrong way very much wrong way you're now on the top left of the screen <laughs> i gotta lead these guys over here then the bone man will home in and it's gonna be like a chain reaction and you know what it's not working i'm just gonna cover myself right there that was the best use of host hat i've had yet that was actually clutch as hell uh, i'm just gonna yeah. Wait, wait, is he here? <gasps> He's here! I was wondering why I was doing so much damage. I, I almost gave up. There you go, home in! We're doing so much now. It's over for you, Hush. I've double teamed. And done for. Goodbye, Hush. Maybe I said that a little bit too early. But either or, you're gone. You're done. I think we're ready to go and explore. Oh, free secret room? Don't mind if I do. It's not really too good, though. Just kidding, I got an internal heart for no reason. Sick. <laughs> this weirdo Kane's other eye Ludo baby bender gameplay, this arc that I've been through, has actually been really fun to play around. I don't know why this is what this became, but I'm down with it, dude. Trying to manipulate my Kane's other eye to going where I want to on the hush fight was actually really fun. <laughs> And we can see when I'm in a bad situation like this, press spacebar and get hit anyway. But you also saw in the hush fight that it's effective. You just gotta use it not as stupid. You can't just run into an enemy and be like, haha, I, I can't get hit. Actually, that worked really well. <laughs> Maybe that's how you're supposed to play it. Haha. <laughs> can I avoid brimstone by doing this? I sure can. That was insane, actually. I thought for sure I was getting hit. Oh, there you go. Wait, why did he say it like that? <laughs> Is that just me? Am I the first person in Isaac history to recognize that? That man said it a little bit too sultry. He said, Ace of Clubs. <laughs> I have no idea why. It's not that serious, dude. I tanked the brimstone because I'm just him. That was actually sick. Pestilence is also here to help carry me. Satan's health bar is depleting rapidly. He survived no time whatsoever. We are doing actually a humongous amount of damage. Final floor. I could just go defeat the lamb right away, but that's no f- oh! Sorry, I just saw it in the corner of my eye. I'll take the conjoined progress. I'll take the orbital. I don't care about flight too much, but whatever. And you! What are you gonna do? Is this not just- <laughs> It's just Ludo Brimstone. All right, yeah, I'm down with it. Sure, why not? It's literally a straight up upgrade. Or you'd be crazy to tell me I'm not doing this. It's also been hella long since I have Ludo Brimstone. And uh, one of them is actually homing, so. This is uh, pretty epic, I would say. And in the rare case where I'm afraid of my life, you know what? Boom, I'm invulnerable. Also headless. Now in terms of luck, 
We have no luck. It is not working out for us in that department. I don't expect too many chests to show up here. But I don't really think we even need that many chests when we have this much amount of damage. Where are you, Polycephalus? There you are. Show your face. You're done for. I will say, I mean, our HP is dwindling. It's, uh, that would have been a perfect time to, like, press spacebar, by the way. It's dwindling. It's not doing too good. Three hits away from death is actually pretty scary. But I'm so confident in winning here. I, I, I don't see a way we lose. The moment it comes time for me to clutch up, I will clutch up. The moment it is time for me to satisfy myself by destroying Teratoma in the easiest way possible, I'll do that instead, you know? Homing Ludo Brim, I forgot just how much of a classic this thing is. What an absolutely satisfying synergy. Oh, well, there's the lamb. I think I'm confident enough, you know. To explore the rest, we're okay. We also got Relic healing us over the course of the floor. I don't see a situation where we die. We also got our Empress card. Give us a little bit extra damage on the lamb. This might just be wraps, I think. Yeah, you guys are not living this one, I'm afraid. Hey, Beelzebub, giving us one final transformation at the very end. That's actually really cool. In fact, we get conjoined? <laughs> Does it do anything? No, in fact, it's literally bad. We got a damage and tears down. I wanted to do it just, you know, because I wanted to hear the yippee sound. But it is what it is. We get the Empress. I'm going to pop it. I'm going to leave these brimstones on you. And then the moment you do anything, I'm pressing spacebar. You can't hurt me. Don't even try it, dude. What are you going to do? Say goodbye to the lamb. I'm sorry. That was actually like Isaac jump scare IRL. <laughs> we got Deliria? Okay, you know, I'll try for this. Absolutely. You guys saw that lamb? Wait a second. If you take the card reading it, does it take you to Delirium exactly or a random one? I don't know this. I guess I might as well find out. Hello? Oh, it's a random. Good to know. I guess it's like the Emperor card. But anyways, yeah, you guys saw that lamb, dude? Literally screen to screen within frames. That was terrifying to me. Got a couple more bosses here. I have a feeling you can't be Delirium based on the map. But I also have a feeling the one above me might be him. But I'm okay to fight. I, I feel so confident. Yeah, it is you. And you mean nothing. All right, you're done for. This is gonna be a close fight. Way, way harder than our previous fights. Harder than Hush, harder than Lamb, especially if you fill my screen in static. There's unfortunately no real way for me to predict a Telefrag, so I can't on reaction press spacebar, I think, and then like try and avoid that damage. But there are other situations where I can also press spacebar and uh, save myself some damage, hopefully. We're doing an okay amount of damage. It's not too significant. Uh, even when Delirium does not have boss armor on just like this, you can tell. Like, it's, it's, it's good. It's just not the greatest. Is this a good card? Oh my goodness, we just got a huge damage buff for the fight. That strength card will speed this up immensely, also giving us a little bit extra HP. That might be like actual win con, I think. Ow, okay. Off screen, Tiny Toma, I understand. My bad skill issue. What the hell? <laughs> Dude, okay, that was actually the best use of host I've ever done. That was crazy. I saved myself some damage just then. Delirium is going crazy. With like a random Satan Brimstone off screen, he really wanted me dead, but I did not allow that to happen. Mega gamer gameplay. You're done for. Get out of here. Rewarded with a bone heart, and that was the host character. Super sick, especially with how early of a character it was into the modding scene since I came in repentance, you know what I'm saying? That was awesome. GG's.